Hey guys, today we want to talk a little bit about obesity and some of the common things and misconceptions that people may have. So I'm going to present the question, why do you don't want to lose weight fast? Right? Because you may look in the mirror, you may look at your belly fat, you may squeeze it, it jiggles a little bit, and you're like, I, would, I just want this to just go away right now. Why don't you want to do that? Yeah, so what you make a very valid point. Anyone who has a little bit of excess weight, they wish they could just close their eyes and wake up and the next day, they're Ooh. completely thin, all the fat is gone. But you don't want that to happen. And the reason why you don't, what, like the, at least for me, the top reason is that when you have fat on you, that fat actually stores toxins. Mm. And so you don't want, as you start melting away that fat really quickly, for all those toxins to be flooded into your system, overloading your system's capacity to be able to remove that toxin out of your body. You mentioned something that's really important for us to discuss. So people might not know that when you eat something and it has toxins in it, our liver then senses that something is wrong with this or that this, is, this could be potentially harmful. And it wraps it into fat. Fat is kind of like a trash bag, right? When we have something that we want to dispose, we throw it in the trash and we tie up that bag before we can take it out to the dump and dump it away. Or, or the trash man comes in and take it away, right? So our body will store toxins in our adipose tissue. And so when we're losing fat, the body then does the reverse of that, right? It mm -hmm. separates the fat from the toxins. And then you're able to eliminate it. But if you're metabolizing a lot of fat or if you're doing a detox or something like that, your body can be flooded with a lot of toxins and you can then become sick if you're having to reabsorb it. If you don't have a good binder or something to help eliminate that toxin, you can then become sick or your skin start to break out or you start having other symptoms as well. Yep. So what are some other reasons why you don't want to lose fat real fast? So one of the other things is loose skin. So, you know, yeah. when you lose weight, um, we often don't, at least, you know, most times you don't think about it, but that fat, you know, stretches your skin and you want your skin to have time to rebound, mm. which it does. That's the good thing about us where we're made is that our skin is actually good at rebounding. And For so sure. you want to be able to lose it at a rate that's going to be able to allow your skin to pretty much tighten as you lose the weight. Awesome. Yeah. So you don't want to just lose it real fast and then your skin is loose. Yep. Any other reasons? Another one is the fact that you want to build muscle. So you want to look good when Absolutely. you've lost the weight. We were just talking about you. You're like skinny fat, right? Yep. Where you don't have any muscle tone, you're not shaped or contoured. And so it doesn't look as good mm. if you lose all the weight right away. You need time to build muscle. You know, the word that you often hear in the weight loss circle is sculpt, right? Mm -hmm. And so... When we are muscular, when our muscle is built, it gives our body that shape that we like. So yes, definitely want to get the sculpting going, building muscle. And also for the skin, like you may have cellulite, right? Where you're, you're, you're having dimples yep. because of the adipose tissue under the skin, the subcutaneous fat under the skin is leaving little dimples in it. And the more you build muscles, the more that starts to smooth out a little bit. Yep. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you're trying to look the best that you want to look, and feel the best that you want to feel, combining that, that gradual progressive improvement versus this instant weight loss. All right, so I'm going to flip this question. And how about losing the weight slow, right? Is it advantageous to lose the weight slow? And by slow, I mean slower than you should. And so there is some issues with that. People who have really been dieting a lot, um, one of the things that discourages them is the scale, right? If they see that it's not moving, they start to get like kind of depressed. It's kind of hard to do. Yeah. And so they give up because it's just too slow and they're not seeing any results. So it's kind of discouraging for that. Yeah. It's, yeah. It could be mentally discouraging. You're doing, you want to get, get to your goals or you're not getting there faster. The other thing is that you may end up developing into another diagnosis. So say your BMI is over 30, you're considered obese and... You're borderline something, right? Because very rarely you just have obesity. Usually other things are creeping up too, yeah. like uh, insulin resistance, for example. And then that may creep into full-blown diabetes. Or you may have high blood pressure because of the weight gain. And you may end up getting more and more progressively serious. So it could be a ticking time bomb, if mm -hmm. you will, right? So you definitely want to take care of your health. Focus on getting healthy, not necessarily on losing just the weight. Yes. And if you take care of your health, then the weight will follow and it will follow in a very realistic way that when you're true. making the right steps to get there. If you're ready to take your weight loss to the next level, 
Check us out at www.antioxtreatments.com. We'll love to get you in and show you how we can help you. Take care.